Today, we're going to start a really fun tool restoration on this small Stanley block plane. So, what do we have here? What we got is a Stanley number 220 block plane made in the USA. It's got a little bit of surface rust. So the first thing that we'll do is take this down into all of its components and we'll take a look at the different pieces and see what kind of stuff we have to do to get it back in working condition. So we'll go ahead and start on the sole of the plane. I've actually done a fair number of tool restorations and one thing that really comes in handy in keeping your workbench clean is just putting down some paper on your workbench and that way all of the metal and grime and gook from the plane or whatever tool that you're restoring that won't get on your workbench and put that grime into your workbench it will all just go onto the paper. And you can also add some blue tape or duct tape onto the surface so that it doesn't roll up when you're working. And using a piece of glass will ensure that the sole of the plane will come out flat. And I'm going to start out fairly coarse with this and I'm going to start out with a 220 sheet. Now we can work on the sides. So these edges up on the top of the plane aren't very important in the functionality of the plane. However, if you want to go the extra length and touch that up with a little bit of sandpaper to get rid of that rust and that always looks nice on a restoration So I got all of the surface rust that I could out from the inside and now we'll go ahead and put a fresh coat of paint on here. And we also want to make sure that we wrap all of the exposed metal parts that we don't want to get paint on. So here is our sole of the plane and I have it all taped up and one thing that I would recommend is if you're doing this yourself, I'd have the tape actually hang over like I did here and the reason for that is instead of taping up all the rest of the plane, when you're spray painting this will almost act as a shield over that. So now let's go ahead and spray paint this. Thank you. 
So now that we have the spray paint on the sole of the plane, we can let that dry and we can start working on some of the other components. So the next part that I'd like to start working on is the lever cap. Now, same as the sole of the plane, this only has a little bit of surface rust. And what I'd like to use is my small bench grinder in my vise. So a bench grinder with a wire brush is one of the most essential tools in a shop and I use this thing at least once a week for some sort of task. You don't really actually need a great big one, you can have a small one just like this and I made this mount here with just this piece of wood screwed on and this fits really well into my carpenter's vise. So we'll go ahead and clean up the lever cap. So here is the lever cap. I cleaned it up really nice too. And we'll go ahead and put some paint on this inner part. So now we can tackle the back adjustment screw and the set screw that goes into the sole of the plane to hold the chip breaker down. And I'm just going to use the wire brush for these. So for small screws like this, the best way to polish these with a grinder or wire brush in this case is just with a pair of pliers. But one thing that you want to make sure is that you don't mar the threads on the screw. So the blade of this plane also has a lot of surface rust and just a bunch of gunk on it. So we'll go ahead and use the wire brush to take all of that off and most likely in the next part we'll begin the sharpening process for this blade. So that is going to be it for this part. We managed to clean up these two pieces and put some spray paint on those. I also wire brushed these four pieces and off camera I used the bench grinder to wire brush this little part. I'm not sure what it's called but it just goes into the screw that sets the depth of the blade. So in the next part then we'll also look at finishing the handle, the front handle tote. The main part for the next video is going to be cleaning up this blade and sharpening it. But there's still a lot of work that has to go into this blade in order to get it to be working functionally and effectively. So that's going to be it for this part. If you enjoyed watching this video, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. I try to upload new videos almost every day. Also put a comment down in the comment section if you think one is necessary. Also hit that like button too. I really do appreciate that. And that is going to be it for this part and I will see you in the next video.